Hello guys, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and a very good morning. So today I'm going to show you how to derive the unit if you do your experiment on the supercapacitor or supercapacitry, you will uh, see this unit. For example, you have the specific capacitance is farad per gram. So how you get the farad per gram? For example, you do the specific capacity is C over G, column per gram. So how you get C over G? and we have the specific energy and also specific power how to derive the unit so it's quite simple actually for example the first one is specific capacitance so specific capacitance formula you can get from a lot of review paper so a normal paper also we said that you can get by a derivation of uh, integration of area under the graph si dv divided by mv delta v where m is the mass V small v is the scan rate and big B is the potential window. So what happened? So we can get farad per gram. So then how to get the farad per gram? So let us do it. So CSP equal to SIDV is area under the curve. Is actually you can get the current I and also voltage V. So we got the A V because current is ampere, voltage is V. Then divide by M is the mass is gram. So then we got a uh, scan rate is a uh, volt per second and also V is V. So you can cancel uh, below and upper V. So become A as you bring to the top. So you got the A dot S ampere per second divided by gram voltage. Okay. Then we can simplify this formula into farad equals to ampere per second ampere dot second divided by V. So we can say that uh, this part is farad. So that's why CSP specific capacitance is farad per gram. So it's quite simple. When you do the derivation, you know why the unit itself shows you how you can get farad per gram. So move on to the supercapacitor. When dealing with supercapacitor, we are telling to find the specific capacity. So specific capacity almost the same. As you can see, the formula is almost the same with specific capacitance. So you can see that the only difference is they don't have delta V on the bottom part of the fraction. They don't have that. So it become C column per gram, C over G. So how they get the specific capacity unit is C over G. So how they get that, we're going to know that. So first of all, we know that area under the graph we can get is ampere volt because area under the graph we can get uh, the current and the voltage. So we got the AV and then uh, M here is the mass gram and V is the scan rate volt per second. So you can simplify then it's become A dot S. We bring S to the top over G. So A dot S over G. So next is we know that from the formula C equal to F dot V because farad equals to C divided by V so I going to insert the formula C equals to farad A is A dot S over V so then become V here so we cancel the V then C equal to A S only that's why we got that the specific capacity is column divided by gram because you bring here uh, C equal to AS, you put C here, then with the formula, we can get that actually the specific capacity. In the end, you can get C over G. Okay, that's the difference between specific capacitance and capacity. So normally when you are doing the research, you know that you can calculate uh, both specific capacitance and specific capacity based on cyclic voltammetry and also galvanostatic charge discharge. GCD. So from GCD also we can actually derive how we can get farad per gram or column per gram C over G. Oh, so but the formula is different because uh, in GCD we can get a triangular shape. If a battery like shape you can say uh, apply to you. So the formula is quite different compared to the area under the graph under the CV curve. So for example to calculate the CSP specific capacitance using the GCD so what you're going to do is the formula is I times delta T divided by M times delta V. So I is 
current ampere T is second this the time the discharging time so M is the mass delta V is the voltage lah. so what happened is you can derive directly you can see that uh, CSP equal to A dot S divided by mass is gram G time V so you can get farad per gram it's quite simple from the GCD part so next uh, we want to know about the specific capacity so the only difference between QSP from GCD and CSP is they don't have the voltage on the bottom of the fraction so what happened as you can see that they only have QSP equal to I times delta T divided by M so we got a QSP equal to A dot S divided by G so we can get C over G is straightforward compared to the CV so it's quite simple but let's move to a difficult part about the specific energy and also specific power so you we can do either one let's say we do the specific power first okay specific power is quite simple they are talking when we are talking about power only power equals to ampere p equals to iv current time voltage ampere time voltage so what happened ampere time volt so what happened is is quite simple by having the term specific we can get that uh, divide by mass to get the specific powers someone also can uh, find the specific volume you want to divide by centimeter cube also can centimeter square specific area pon boleh pon also can so that's why in uh, a lot of journal they standardize that that there's not standardized you can go to the scopus there are a lot of super capacity channel so super capacity channel they have actually they they not state that where the specific energy only can uh, we use uh, per mass you can also per volume per area and so on so here i explain about you how we can do it actually specific uh, power divide uh, specific power by the mass so for example <coughs> so by having a simple formula so p equals to iv we divide by 2m 2m is the mass because of it is a device so we have the anode and cathode so you must divide by 2 the mass has two that's why they insert the two here for example the small uh, the small formula for power is uh, the the theoretical if p equal to iv is quite simple so when we see that p equals to iv we can get that p equal to iv equal to watt because the unit is watt if we have specific power we got watt per kilogram that is the specific unit so then we derive again uh, energy equals to p times t power time with the time so then power equals to energy divided by t we just derive from the second formula so what happened is when we have power equal to e divided by t if the time in hour we don't have to multiply by 300 3600 if our time in second we should multiply by 3000 600 why because one hour we got 300 3600 second that's why the formula become p equal to e time 300 3600 divided by delta t so we can get uh, here we can get what hour per kg divided by hour so you can uh, cancel the hour you got the what per kg okay the simple one is you can directly uh um, you can directly insert the amount of current and also voltage divided by mass you got a watt per kg so it's quite important if you want to just uh, calculate from this formula just use the amount of specific energy above just input here okay it's quite simple okay next we go to the specific energy the okay, specific energy a lot of general have their own formula they are, they are saying that uh, the simple one is E equals to P times T so E equal to IVT they say that E equal to IVT so we know that of the amount of current used so the voltage and also the discharging time from the GCD so we know that it is uh, because uh, IVT is ampere watt second directly you can get so you got watt per second and then the formula you divide by 3600 because you want to convert to hour that's why you got watt per hour so then if you divide by mass it's become watt per hour per kg 
this is the standardized one uh, if you want to uh, see the specific energy in kg so a lot of paper also reported about the formula e equals to delta v square times csp divided by 2 times 3.6 <coughs> and you can see that we said that the first one is delta v square times csp divided by 2 m m is the mass so we can get that e equals to v square times f over g divided by g because mass is in the gram so csp is far up per gram so you can cancel the gram so then become e equal to v square times because farad e is a dot s divided by v so you can cancel the v e equal to a dot s dot v so a dot s dot v in second you want to change to hour so divide by 3600 so you got watt per hour uh, so you just divide by mass if you want to find the specific energy rather than just energy so it's quite simple okay so the rest is uh, for specific and capacity uh, you can calculate the specific energy and specific power but make sure to use the amount of qs the specific capacity don't use the specific capacitance value in the formula okay the same goes to the specific power okay i think that's all how we can actually calculate the formula and get the unit right so you must derive yourself in order you want to understand your research about what so that's all about this video so actually i hope you can understand how to calculate the uh, unit how to get the unit of specific capacitance specific capacity specific energy specific power either from the cv and also gcd okay that's all thank you bye